also known as the place where dreams die. Um, but actually, you guys, after spending a weekend there, I learned that it's the place where dreams come true. Because it's the only place I've been where I was the hottest chick there. Like, I don't want to brag, but dudes were rolling up to me, offering me Miller Lite. I was swimming in cheap beer. <laughs> Yes, Harry. Yes. Light my cigarette. Um, I'm not married. A lot of my friends are married. It seems like my married friends, they all decorate their homes the same way. You know, they put up those signs from Kohl's everywhere with the sayings. You know, it says stuff like, dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> Love like you've never been hurt. Get divorced like it's the first time. really cute. I'm not married, but I'm in a relationship. I've been dating my boyfriend now for four years. Thank you. He is a very handsome Hispanic gentleman. And I think I'm ready to get married, you guys, but not necessarily because I want to be a wife. I just want to be the whitest Mrs. Hernandez anyone has ever seen. It'd be great. They bring me to the stage, like, now come to the stage, Jolene Hernandez. You guys are like, what the They make them like that? That's gross. But we have cute little nicknames for each other, you guys. Uh, like, I call him Salsa. He calls me Ranch. That's really sweet. We met in Arizona, and last year, I actually moved him up to my home state of Minnesota, and we moved in with my parents. Yeah which I think is every Minnesota dad's dream for his albino daughter. We got a Mexican guy from Arizona. And my mom, when we lived there, my mom started flashing us. Yeah, because when you're living with your parents at 34 for free, they're doing anything to get you out of the house. She would just walk around going, get out! Get out! This will happen all day, every day. It didn't scare me, you guys. I would motorboat my mom so I don't have to pay rent. It's expensive. 